Welcome to a lesson on line integrals and differential form. Line integrals are sometimes written in differential form. So if we let our vector field equal f of r of t, where each component of f, p, q, and r, is written as a function of t, we can show where the differential form comes from, starting with the line integral of a force field or vector field as discussed in the previous video, as we see here in the first line. So again, what this is saying is the vector field f is rewritten as a function in terms of t, and then differential r is equal to r prime of t dt. So here's our vector field dotted with r prime of t, and when we calculate this dot product, we rewrite x prime of t, y prime of t, and z prime of t as dx dt, dy dt, and dz dt, we can see that when we integrate this with respects to t, that these dt's would simplify out, leaving us with the differential form of a line integral. We have the integral from a to b of p dx plus q dy plus r dz. Let's go ahead and look at our example. We want to evaluate this line integral in differential form along the curve given by r of t on the closed interval from zero to four. So we know that x of t is equal to two t, We know that y of t is equal to t squared, and we know that z of t is equal to t to the one-half. Now let's go ahead and determine differential x, differential y, and differential z. Differential x is going to be equal to two dt. Differential y is going to be equal to two t dt. And differential z, it's going to be equal to one-half t to the negative one-half dt. Let's rewrite this line integral in terms of t now. The limits of integration will be from zero to four. We know we're integrating with respects to t. So then we have y times dx. Well, y is equal to t squared, and dx is equal to two dt. DT is already here, so we'll just multiply it by two, plus z squared times dy. Well, z squared would be t to the one-half squared. That's gonna be t times differential y. Differential y is two t dt. Again, the dt is already here, so we'll write down the two t. And lastly, we have x dz. Well, x is equal to two t. and dz is equal to one-half t to the negative one-half dt. So we have one-half t to the negative one-half dt. So now we just need to simplify this and then find the antiderivative with respects to t. So we have two t squared plus another two t squared. Here we'll have two times one-half, that's one, and then t to the first times t to the negative one-half will be t to the one-half. Let's go ahead and finish this on the next page. Let's combine our like terms. So we have four t squared plus t to the one-half. So we'll have four times t to the third over three, or four-thirds t to the third plus here we'll have t to the three halves divided by three halves, or two thirds t to the three halves. So when t is four, we'll have four thirds times four to the third, plus two thirds times four to the three halves, and then when t is zero, these are both zero. This is going to give us 256 thirds plus four to the three halves is equal to eight. Eight times two thirds will give us 16 thirds. So the sum would be 272 thirds. And we'll stop here for this video. Thank you for watching.